So what's the difference between a cruise missile and a ballistic missile anyway? Well, in very simple terms, a ballistic missile works like a rocket, while a cruise missile works like an airplane. Ballistic missiles, like America's Minuteman III ICBM or Russia's faux hypersonic Kinzel, are powered by rocket engines and travel along high-arcing ballistic flight paths. This ballistic flight path is split into three phases. The boost phase, which is when the missile's being propelled up into the sky by its rocket engines. The mid-course phase, which is when the rocket stops firing, the warhead separates from the booster and then coasts up to the apex of its flight path. And then the terminal phase, the warhead's unpowered descent down to its target. But even unpowered, these weapons are incredibly fast, with Kinzel alleged to exceed Mach 10, and ICBMs like the Minuteman III even exceeding Mach 23 during their descent. And despite what you may read in the headlines, ballistic missiles are also really tough to intercept. But are still a lot easier to bring down than modern hypersonic missiles, which can maneuver to a much greater extent while traveling at those Mach 5 plus or hypersonic speeds. Cruise missiles, on the other hand, are powered by air-breathing jet engines, just like fighter jets, and that allows them to use some of the same tricks that tactical aircraft use to avoid being detected or shot down, like cruising just above the treetops so enemy radar can't differentiate the missile from ground clutter, and using the curvature of the earth or even terrain, like hills and mountains, to avoid being spotted. And just like tactical aircraft, some cruise missiles lean harder into stealth, like America's JASM or the Franco-British Storm Shadow missiles, which are subsonic but have such a small radar return that air defenses are usually unlikely to spot them coming. Others, though, lean more into high performance to avoid intercept, like Russia's P-800, which uses a ramjet engine to reach speeds as high as Mach 2.9. And the most advanced hypersonic cruise missiles use exotic jet engines like scramjets to sustain even higher speeds while still flying at those lower altitudes. So in a nutshell, ballistic missiles work like rockets, cruise missiles work like airplanes.